must be down there. Roma? This one's already missing a leg. Less of him to kill. You do it. Hmm. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the expanse. Ooh, this is a bit of a tough one, isn't it? Uh, let's go with... No need? No gun? Let's go with no gun. You didn't give me one. I don't have a gun. Don't need one. Use your mag boots. Crush his skull and be done with it. I saved you from Arlen. Uh, I never wanted Maya to die. Hmm. Yeah, I don't actually want to kill Ryan. Um. Yeah, Rayan was the one who helped me. It's the other guy I don't like. He's a prick. He's the one who killed Maya. Let's fight back. Screw it. I need help. Where's Virgil? Virgil! Virgil, open the door! Captain, you're alive? Uh, yeah, Ryan's hurt. I hooked him up to the other dock. He seems stable, but he needs attention. Um, we should... We should check his vitals then. What's wrong? They're gonna take me away. The pirates, they'll turn me over to the UNN or the OPA. Once they take the ship, they'll- If they take the ship. We can fight them off, but we need- The OPA? Why would they want you? Uh-oh. The OPA has a standing kill order for any soldier that was present on- And a sensation. I understand your anger. Do you? You were at Anderson fucking station! You were a soldier in the greatest massacre in the history of the belt, and you hid it from me! Gah! Give me one reason I shouldn't leave you here to fend for yourself! You should. You need to help the rest of your crew, and I'm no use to you like this. Leave me. I 
don't have time for this. But I don't think I can make it through this without you either. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with him. Two versus many is better than one versus many. This is a lot of choices. All that matters is getting through this attack. And I need my medic for that. If you had a patient who was panicking, what would you do to help them? I'd recommend some deep breaths. Maybe brew some tea. But deep breaths to start, I suppose. What else? I'd speak softly. Use a non-judgmental tone. And try to project an attitude of safety and security. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. Things are bad, but we've seen worse. We don't have time for this. I mean, things are bad, and we have seen worse. But let's go with... Let's go with B. Virgil, the situation is bad. But we've already been through worse. And survived. And we're going to get through this. I'm going to help you. And then you're going to help me. Yes, Captain. Okay. What would you do next? Well, first, I'd assess the patient's fears. Try to get to the heart of what's keeping them in an agitated state. You're afraid of being killed. Uh, you're afraid of being arrested, I suppose. You're afraid of the UNN, and what will happen if they found you? I suppose, though there are worse things than a UNN prison. What next? Framing the situation. Often it helps to introduce favorable outcomes, to concretize obtainable constructive So think positively. Course. In short, yes. You can go back to being a medic. Once we are through with this, you can go back to being a medic. Your past will stay between us. You can keep living in the belt. You'd let me remain a medic after- You're not just a medic. You're the one who makes kibble for the rest of us. You take care of the crew, Virgil. Help me save them, and you can keep doing it. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate your help more than I can say. I'll retrieve my hand terminal. You have a gun? Before you go, Anderson Station. But we don't have time. I know, but please, you must understand. I never raised my gun. I was there to treat the injured soldiers. I wanted to. There was nothing I could do for the civilians. I know. You don't. I'm sure you cannot understand the base cowardice of someone who merely follows orders. Regardless of what happens to us, I must know. Can you ever forgive me? Mm, not mine to give. I mean, I wasn't there. I know what it's like to be manipulated into doing something terrible by someone you trust. But forgiveness isn't mine to give. What can I do? You already left the UNN. You came to the belt, where you knew you'd still be in danger. You wanted to find a home. And you found one. Now you must fight for it. You still have work to do here. Thank you, Captain. I'll check on the patient and be ready for whatever happens next.
Khan? Are you okay? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Who's that? Looks like she handled it. Took you long enough. I blew my cover. They're sending another boarding party. Almost here. Ah! You're hurt. I'm ecstatic. You sent more pirates to kill. Drummer. Shouldn't have. They'll send more this time. Good thing we already have a plan for pirate attacks. Fuck yes. Don't miss your shot. Don't shoot. I surrender. Thought you could double cross us, eh, Drummer? Take us to the core. Now. Of course. I know right where it's hidden. There are no secrets on board the Artemis. Ah! Eat shit! Oh my god. Captain! Are there any injuries? Oh, great. Dr. Dipshit's here. Take my gun. Just finish me off quickly. Enough. I'm an excellent doctor. I've saved hundreds of lives. And you may be the most infuriating of them all. But I'll save you too, damn it. Now sit down. Or I'll tie you down. Well, damn. I didn't think I could be any more turned on after killing those pirates. But here we are. I'm going to the cargo bay. Be ready to evacuate at any moment. Arlen is in the cargo bay with the MK Corps. Let's go find him. Damage report. Let's go find out. Uh, flight systems compromised. Navigation compromised. Comms compromised. Life support operational. Radiation shielding compromised. Fuel reserves, 0%. Multiple leaks detected in reactor core. That seems problematic. The Artemis is still holding together. I managed to shoot through the nose cone without hitting anything explosive. Still, she won't be flying anytime soon. Hmm. What's with the floor patch? Uh. Wait, can I get in here? Is this my office? Yeah, it's Cox's room. I know, we're not going in there. Okay, it's not letting me in. Uh, I guess we can't open the security gate. What? What's this floor hatch? Firing at the Artemis was risky, but I knew the crew could handle it. They didn't let me down. Oh, okay. That wasn't quite as... I thought it might open up and we can sneak around or something. Going down to the crew deck. Should we go get Cox? I feel like getting Cox out of prison. At least he could help us fight these guys, right? In fact, since I put Cox in the prison, he has done literally nothing for the storyline at all. In fact, a lot of the choices that I've made haven't really come to fruition in any way. Oh well. The airlock door sensor. 
Openings today? None. Last opened. Two days ago. Outgoing. Crew level. The airlocks haven't been opened since Arlen threw me and Maya out of the cargo deck. Arlen is still on board. Why do I get a horrible feeling I'm going to have to shoot Arlen? It's going to be a deeply, I would say, upsetting experience, but how bad can it be? Oh look, there's a hole in the floor. If we survive this, Khan is going to kill me for what I did to the ship. <laughs> is that hole to stop me from going to the medbay? No, I can go to the medbay. Is uh, anyone in here? Is Ryan still in here? Ryan is tougher than he looks. He'll be alright. Big twin. Minor vertebral fracture. Good thing we got you to Virgil. <laughs> Ray. I'm heading to the cargo bay to deal with your brother. Do not try to stop me. Not really an option this time. Just... He's still about to load us, yeah? No. Not anymore. Okay. Let's keep going. We can go to more blue quarters. That's locked down. In here, this is just the living quarters. Yes. Anything in here? There's some kibble still floating. The attack must have come during dinner. Thankfully, people made it to their stations in time. Rayan, Khan, and Virgil all made it through this. Time to make Arlen pay. I wonder if there's a way of making it so Arlen doesn't lose. I mean. Three out of four people not dying is pretty good, yeah. Arlen's reign as captain seems to be going just as well as expected. <laughs> Let's have a look. Notice from Captain Arlen Morozov. Since you fast wanglers can't seem to remember the new rules, here they are in black and white, yeah? Rule one, bring all weapons and valuables for collection to the cargo bay. If not, you'll be spaced. I'm the Sheng. Rule two. All doors must be kept unlocked for routine inspections. Inspections can happen whenever me or Breta says. I'm sleeping or I'm getting dressed is not an excuse. Okay, yeah? Rule 3. You must refer to me as Captain. Boss Mang is also Subbueno. Call me anything else and get put in the brig. Same with saying Captain and then whispering another word under your breath when you think I can't hear it. <laughs> Reign of Terror, eh? Came from... Door seems locked. Oh, here's our crew quarters. Let's have a look. Can we get in anyone's rooms? Ran. Yeah, her room's locked. Makes sense. Ooh. Arlen is trying to save his own skin. Not if I can help it. Captain Zapata, I have what you want. You've shot my ship to Falota, but there's no reason we can't come to arrangement. I'm going to meet you. Take the Artemis if you want it. The crew are expendable. Just don't shoot when I leave the airlock. Bing. Ematim. Captain Arlen Mazov. Really? You sold out the entire crew? You are a bastard. Absolute bastard. Arlen's going to pay for what he did to Maya. If I listen to this music, is it going to... Yes, it is. Okay, well, we already listened to that in a previous episode, so I'm not going to go again. Oh, a series charm, huh? We're a long way from the series docks, but I need all the luck I can get. I take it. Kept me alive so far. Let's hope it's bulletproof. <laughs> there is a distinct lack of bulletproof uh, apparel uh, in these ships, you know. Emergency bulkhead, blood on the floor? Whose blood is that? Alright, to the cargo deck. What's the worst that can happen?
Why do we have so many guns? Jesus. Hi, Cox. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Are we just going to shoot him? Is this the plan? Uh-oh. You telling me we didn't reload the damn gun? Came to shoot me in the back? Eh, hey, drummer? I mean, you earned it. It's better than a pushing waller like you deserves. Still thinking you're better than me. That's your problem. That's why you lose. You turn your back on me and Baratna. Just like you turn your back on Dawes and the OPA. Uh. Huh, treated you like you deserve. Yes. Some people call me a traitor, but you were never even wanted. I give you a chance, just like the OPA did, but you were too stupid and too crazy. Enough. Oh. Guess where we learned that move. Cox, <laughs> don't mind me. Now, we're fucking even now, got it? Now finish up with him and let's get the hell out of here, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> she was more of a belter than you'll ever be. She didn't have to die. Why? Why? Oh my god. Oh, hello. I fancy meeting you here. Trouble with your crew, Captain. I have the MK core. Put a bullet in this bitch's head and we can split the profit. Oh. I wonder, Kamina Drummer. Do you believe in grace? I do. It's what sustained me in that wretched cave the Indians locked me in. It's what binds me and my crew together as family. And this one at this moment gives me pause from killing you. When a weak or petty of us and will savor the opportunity. But grace must be earned. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Convince me your life matters. And I will let you live. Uh, the belt, I guess. I mean, Mayor? Justice? Oh, God. Justice for what? Oh, justice. Just because I'm curious what the answer is for justice. I will enact justice on Dobbs 
and root out his corruption. And anyone else who turned on me or hunted me for my bounty. And when you have seen to your justice, what then? I will build a new OPA to make sure men like Doss can never have power again. Don't you see how we're meant to be together? Kindred spirits. Two bodies in the same orbit. Finally we meet and you want to squander it all? How much time have you wasted serving inadequate men? Or trying to fight every battle by yourself? Circumstances set us against each other. But we are not victim to circumstance. Even now, after all the blood between us. We can seize this chance to build a new future together. I will serve those to you on a platter. His name will be erased from history and the OPA will be reformed in your image. Our buyer will make us wealthy enough that we can build our own system if we want and make sure we are always protected. Who is your buyer? It's a private company. There are no private companies in the belt. Is it Checkman? Royal Charter? It doesn't matter. One rich j or another. They're all the same. What matters is what we do with it. Hmm. I'm not gonna call her a... Uh, I mean, she is technically a traitor? Because she's siding with the Inners. Even if she's just using their money to build her own empire, she's still kind of like... She's admitting that we need the Inners to... For their money. You know, we can't do it on our own without them. But I don't want to call her a traitor. That seems a little bit in... A little bit nasty, doesn't it? Let, let's go with... They're insane. They'll, they'll kill us. They'll destroy us. <laughs> you think you can trust the Inners? That they will hand you money and leave you alone? You're insane. And you're a fool with no vision. Pity. Gotta run. <laughs> Captain Drummer. Drummer, this is Julie Mao. You've held up your end of the bargain, and now I've held up mine. All the pirates on board the Europa Spain are dead. No. Yeah, look, this is an open broadcast, so I don't know if you're hearing me or who else is. But your crew is on board, and I have the Artemis on target lock. If I don't receive a response from you soon, I will assume the ship has gone hostile and blow it to shit. Good luck. I'd offer you everything. Uh, let's go, it's not about me. You have nothing to offer me. I fight for the belt. I feel sorry for these pirates at this point. Ready torpedoes! Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Fire. Be 
got far away enough from that, right? Captain Drummer. Captain, are you there? I'm here. I'm on the hull. She's alive! <sighs> I told you she'd make it. Stay right there. I'll be out to assist you. You're safe now, Captain. We're all safe. Theories, vicinity, three weeks later? Nearing Ceres Station, Captain. Are you sure we're cleared for approach? We're clear. Dawes controls the docks, and he's decided to lift the bounty on me and play nice. For now, at least. Captain Drummer. Drummer. We're almost there. Which means it's almost too late. I know. Did you at least listen to the message? No need. I know my answer. <laughs> Look, I'm heading to Ceres because that's where my contacts are. And it's where a girl with some basic wrenching skills can do a little good. What's there for you anymore? Where I'm needed? Same as you. It's where I'm needed. I know fuck all about the belt. But I do know the difference between a foot soldier and a leader. Just hear him out. You never know, right? Drummer. This is Fred Johnson. I believe the last time we met, you were holding a gun to my head. But what's past is past. I think you'd agree. I understand you are returning to Ceres. I am calling to offer you an alternative. I do not claim to speak for the belt. Any person who would do so is as foolish as they are dangerous. The belt is a fractious, toilsome tinderbox. A graveyard of ideals and ambition. It is also, I believe, the last great hope for humankind. The inners have forgotten how to build. Their focus is on killing each other and controlling belters. I know this firsthand. But belters are builders. We forge new worlds out of rock and metal. It doesn't matter where we came from or the demons in our past. It only matters what we can contribute right now. I know that you have suffered and lost, and that through it all, you never forgot what you were fighting for. That is why I need you here on Tycho as my partner for a new OPA. Come speak with me. See what I am building. You have much to contribute, Drummer. Don't let it be wasted. Damn it. Change coordinates. We're making a stop at Tycho Station. Of course, Captain. May I ask, what is on Tycho? Let's find out. Amazing. And as we know, that is exactly where she ended up in the series. That is the end. 
of the expanse. I'm getting all of the uh, all of the achievements right now. Let's uh, skip the credits real quick. Oh, should, I, should I watch the credits? It's the last episode. I guess we should watch the credits. Okay, and here we are on the final screen here. Killing or saving Rayan? 86% of people didn't kill Rayan. <laughs> kind of surprised. 83% uh, of people helped Virgil. Wow, we've got a lot of nice people playing this game, huh? 61% calmed. 60%? Forgave. 0% told that Virgil didn't forgive him. Oh my god. 82%? Summer arrived after Khan had killed Tor. Uh, killing pirates. Drama helped kill the boarding party with Khan. Khan's fate. Khan survived the encounter with the pirates. Arlen's death. Wait, Raylan. Rayan killed Arlen? Wait, how does that happen? Oh, that's interesting. Toussaint killed him. 17% shows justice for the reason of their life. Drummer's weapon. Drummond found a shotgun for her final fight with the pirates. Drummond had to face the pirates unarmed. Wait, why was there a shotgun there for me? Interesting. But, this is the end of the series, I guess. Let's see if there's something after this screen. There might be, there might not be. Could just be the main menu. It is just the main menu. I'm afraid I don't have the Archangel DLC where you, uh, you play as Avasarala. But, uh, thank you all so much for watching this playthrough of... Telltale's The Expanse. I thoroughly enjoyed this. My only complaint about the whole thing is that there wasn't really any gameplay. <laughs> it was mostly just left trigger, right trigger, left analog stick. I expected there to be a few more things. Like, you know, a little bit more challenge, but that maybe that's on me. Maybe I just had it on an easy difficulty saying. The story kind of petered out a bit near the end, but it I still found that it was a bit shorter than I expected it to be. I expected there to be a little bit more expansion on the things. Haha, <laughs> expansion on the expanse. But otherwise, it was a thoroughly enjoyable experience, and I may go and play this again in my own time just to see what some of the other options are, because I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I am a huge expanse nerd. But, like I said, thank you all so much for watching this whole thing. There'll be something new next week, so subscribe, like if you like this. Um, I'm not really sure what it'll be yet. Probably something else in space. I'm on a bit of a weird space thing right now. So we'll, we'll, we'll find out. But please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Thank you again to the members of the channel and the coffee supporters. It really does help me buy these games and things. And as always, I'll see you next time.